Hey guys, Casey here and welcome back to week 8 of the greenhouse updates. So let me flip the camera around and we'll get started. Okay, we've got the original sad banana pepper from last week. Still in the same spot. Uh, he's okay-ish, I think. This leaf's got it pretty bad. Um, it hasn't spread very much and it hasn't spread to the plant next to it. Um, the onions are about to go outside. Uh, they've been doing good getting hardened off all the onions. The lettuces have really taken to getting hardened off. They're just all over the place. The broccolis are, they're not really liking it. It's a little too cold for them, but they're surviving the hardening off process. Celeries are doing really good. Eggplants are doing okay. Sweet Williams back there are still alive, which is amazing. Um... Some more eggplants. The tomatoes are getting just huge. They need to be... <laughs> uh, they need to not be thrown around. They need to be put into bigger cups, but I won't do that until the 10, 20 trays are gone and uh, I have room because I just, I can't fit them all in here. These guys are still attempting to flower and I'm at the point to where I just might let them who knows at this point. All the herbs are doing really good back in here. A couple of tomato plants I've stuffed back there. Got some marigolds back there. Just got stuff everywhere. The bee balms are doing really, really good to hardening off. They could care less about it. Uh, the African daisies are not, though. I don't think it's their time. They're, they're not liking it one bit. Everybody else is doing okay. So I might have to replant the African daisies into a... Uh, a different cup so they can harden off separately. Um, more tomatoes. Look at how big they're getting though. They're just pepper plants doing just fine. All the tomatoes are really doing fine. The marigolds are coming up. Here's our sunflower. And I'm trying to keep the tomatoes spaced out once I um, take the Everything that's getting hardened off out, I spread everything out so they get a good few hours of, you know, not being on top of each other. The black semen... <laughs> Every time I come in here and see his wilty leaves, I get worried that I got a tomato plant that's dying, but then I realize it's the black semen, and I noticed it last year when I grew it. Even when he was in the ground and happy, he always had curly, wilty leaf looking like things, and he was just fine. So I am not going to worry about him one bit. Everybody else is doing really good. We do have some leggy ones in here that are just, you know, because they're all fighting for the light when they were condensed in here too tight. So when I transplant them, I'll fix that. That way they can uh, have a chance to grow better. More peppers. The broccolis are all right. Everyone's doing okay. Now I just need to finish hardening everything off and hope that the weather stays semi-decent. It's still cloudy and overcast, but at least it's relatively warm. Yesterday was the coldest day that I've stuck them out there, and it was probably at most 34 degrees. They were struggling a little bit, but they were only out there for three hours. So today's definitely a lot warmer, and I can leave them out there. Today will be four hours of them getting sunshine. Oh, by the way, when I replanted the mini bells, which I did end up doing, I also planted all the other peppers, um, and I have no idea where the hell they're at. I've got them tucked everywhere in here, so back here is a banana pepper, a shishito, here's the purple beauty bell pepper, here's the mini bell cup. So yeah, I just went ahead and replanted all of the peppers. They grew so fast, I'm not worried about it, uh, but they, at this size, they should have been out in the ground already but I can't, not until late May. So they've still got another month in here and they're already well past the time of hardening off and putting them outside. So starting them over, I'm glad that they grew so happy and so quickly. And I will probably let a couple flower just to see if they can grow fruit on here or not. I doubt it, but ain't gonna hurt to try, I suppose. And I'm honestly getting sick of trying to keep up and picking off all the flowers. So yeah, my greenhouse is definitely overstuffed. I'm going to have to plan it better next year. That's for sure. 
Anywho, I'm going to get these plants outside and hardened off while it's still semi-warm, and I will see you all next week with next week's update, and hopefully by next week I will be uh, planting things in the garden, because should be about that time. I actually will take you guys along with me when I go out there to prepare my beds and stuff, so I don't know if that'll be at the end of this video or in its own video. Depends on how spunky I'm feeling. Anywho, till next time. Bye. This is the garden. I'll give you guys a tour of it. One lesson I have learned is clean up your mess from last year because it just creates a problem come spring. So this is the original tomato trellis run um, that we had up last year and I left all the plants because come the end of the year I'm lazy and I regret it 100% this year because uh, now I have to clean all this up before I can start anything. Um, so yeah, tomatoes. This is the bed where all the onions are going to go. And yeah, all the onions and I think the okra plant. And this is the bed where all the edamame is going to go. It's going to be like a full edamame. Um, except for the end, I think, is going to be an eggplant. This big empty space here, we're actually going to add another tomato run the same size as the other one, so that'll fit all of my tomatoes. And look, it is officially spring. We have Jep up Johnny's growing. Uh, aren't they cute? Let me get out of the way. Look at how cute they are. Um, strawberry bed. The other bed, we're gonna have the strawberries that I grew from seed, but I didn't stick them in the refrigerator to do that process. So, all of this garlic in here, and the garlic over here, to a certain point, and I'm gonna have to look at my notes, but I'm pretty sure to this point here, is all garlic from the grocery store. Um, I bought organic garlic and stuck it in the ground as an experiment to see if you really can grow it from that, you know? And then all of this garlic, and then this garlic over here that's just now starting to pop up is garlic from MI Gardener, which I will have to let you guys know what they are as soon as I find out myself. Yeah. This year I'm going to put um, things like beans and stuff across it. The peppers, and, oh yeah, cucumbers are going on that trellis too. So the peppers and um, the kales, we'll figure it out. I don't think I'll have enough room for much of anything, to be honest. I am just honestly amazed that our crappy little podunk beds stayed up. But I am in love with this height. Now this bed is my mother-in-law's bed. Same with the raspberries in that bed back there. Um, so that bed is strawberries and her rhubarb. And that bed back there is rhubarb as well. So we don't actually get those beds. And I obviously have a lot of work to do. We need to finish um, the pathway in between there and recover up and mulch that area. So yeah, it's coming along. We're gonna rip up the black mat from that bed. Got a lot of work to do. So I guess I'm gonna get to it. Okay, I've got one bed done. It is actually pretty cold out with the wind chill, so I'm going inside. And that's all I'm getting done today. Minorly productive, but I guess not really. <laughs> Plants are getting a little warm in there. A little too warm. Oh my goodness, way too warm. Well, at least I know, despite having many holes in it, it is still very much a greenhouse. Oh goodness. Hopefully that wind will come through and save those broccoli plants. They were not prepared for that, poor things. In fact, let's move him down a shelf. Oh, poor guy, he might not survive. That might have been the end of that broccoli plant.